good morning everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to teach you how to convert your server into like your firewall okay so in hyper-v let's say we have like a network set up like with clients let's say client one client two then we have server one server two server three now you want them to use another server as like their firewall okay so in that case first of all you have to create like some virtual switches okay so you go to the virtual switch manager from there you're going to create what new virtual switches so you can create up to what the number of clients for example i am doing this by site right so i have my first site um, which i call tiburon I have a second site which you can call anything okay and I have a third site so this is the segmentation of the network this is how you want to segment the network and then I have another uh, another switch called what the one so the one means that this is the part that connects to what the public internet all these other ones are like what my private network Okay, now what you have to do is on the server that you want to convert as the firewall, you open it. Okay, so let's say in this case I have it open. So you see server RTR. So I'm trying. What I'm trying to do now is identify these ports. What are these Ethernet called, so that I can label it the way it is, so they can map correctly to the what the switch so you can go to the switch for example i can go to the virtual switch manager or i put the pc so i'm going to go to the hyper v right click on this server so that i can check the what the properties okay so i see this port is called what when site one site two site three okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to disable this and see which port turn off so they say let not connected right apply then go to the PC and see which port is not what locked. You see, this is this one unlocked. So I'm going to rename this one to one. Okay. Now go back and connect it to the one. Okay. And apply. Okay. So next one i come here i turn this off not connected so go into the server so you can apply you need to apply the settings so apply and come in here so that's this one so this is the one that is disconnected so i rename this to the site okay now next one I go back I connect this to what base site apply then I click on this one Tiburon not connected apply go to the PC this is the one. So this is Tiburon. So okay. Then from there, I go back here, connect it to what? To Tiburon. Apply. Then come here to site three and say not connected. Apply and changes to what black spur then go back connect it to what black spur and connect and okay now once you've done this now you map them accordingly you map the what the server so that means that on the server that you're going to use as what 
Azure, Azure firewall, you need to what? Have at least two. The two means that the one is going to be for the one port, and the second one is going to be what? For the LAN. Okay, that is what I'm talking about. So, in our case, now we know what our what different private lands are and what the one is on the server that we want to use as what our firewall so now we go to the configuration itself so it's a rule that you need to install so on the server go to what manage on the server that you want to use as your firewall go to manage okay on the server manager so that means you have to have a server manager open server manager open then what go to manage and click on add roles then from here let me make this bigger so from here you go to what next next make sure the server that you want to use is what selected next and so this is the rule you're going to choose the rule is called Sorry, so remote access is called remote what access next next so from here you click on what make sure routing is checked okay you can add feature and then you see that it, it will automatically select what the direct access as a VPN as well. So click on next, 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 and then just install. So while it is installing, let me go ahead and assign IP addresses to this server. So on my one interface, I'm going to assign some static IP addresses. dot fifty dot one then I'm also going to rename the PC So this is still installing, so I'm going to go ahead and install add IP addresses to the other sites, okay? So in this 
private network, I'm going to put a new IP address on it. And I'll call it, uh, so it's going to be actually, no, that's the wrong address. One second. So I'm going to change this. Sorry. It's the wrong address. This one should. That is the wrong address. So this is supposed to be 254. And this one would have any gateway for now. Yeah, this is the router. So, and Hyper-V, this is going to be using the public IP address. So, we're going to set up NAT soon. So, um, this is how it's supposed to be. Yep. And uh, we're going to do this for this network. Same thing. Ten point fifty point two point two five four two point five point five to zero. And okay, so put the Yeah, the server address uh, 4.7. Okay. Um, do the same for Lex. So the same thing. Sign an address to it. So it's going to be point. Fifty point three point two five four zero. No default gateway. Okay. Remember, we're gonna set up NAT, so it's gonna be using the public address as the default gateway, so we don't have to put anything on there. So we've configured all the what? All the network adapters on the router, on, on the server that we want to use as what? The router, okay? So these are the private lines, and this is the one, okay? So now let's go back and check our role that we are adding. Remember, we just added a new role, and the role is called what? Remote access. That's the role you need, remote access. So close this. And I'm going to restart the PC first so that once it's restart, everything will be ready for us to go ahead. So restart. Let me make this bigger. All right, almost there. All right. Okay, so now we're waiting for the seven money to pop up. So once the seven manager comes up, now we have to go up and configure the remote access. So as you see, remote access routing and remote access. This is what we want to go into. So click on that. Then from there, you expand this, right-click on it. So you right-click on it. So here, you right-click on this, click on Configure, Enable Routing and Remote Access, okay? Click on Next, and this is what we need. Network Address Translation, NAT. For those of you who understand what NAT is, so for example, let's say I have I want to explain what NAT is. Okay. So, for example, let's say you have a router. OK. 
Okay. This is internal. Internal. And this is what? External. Okay. So this is the public address. This is the public address that it's going to use. And this is these are the private addresses. So this is the idea of NAT. So in this case, this is not a router. This is our what? Our server. Okay. This is our server. Okay. It has how many private LANs? One, three, right? One is what? This side. One is what? Tiberon. And the last one is what? Luxburg. Okay. So this is what this is what we are trying to do. So what that means is that network address translation. That means each of these, as we know, this one has a, a private address as what? 10 point what? 50 point what? 1 point what? 0 network slash 24. This one has the dot one. This second network has the same two point what zero slash twenty four. The same. This one has what three point what zero slash what twenty four. Okay. What NAT will do is it's going to use the one interface. So. So each of these will what? When it's going to the outside, it's going to use the external, this address here, and then what? Send the information to the outside world. Okay? So each of these things will use what? The one exit to the internet. So this is what that means. Network address translation. We have private networks here going to the what? Outside with one address. Or sometimes there's a dynamic. There's a static uh not which means one address that you assign for everybody to use to the outside and there is also what we call dynamic NAT. that means you have a set of range of addresses that they will use when they are going to the internet i hope this makes sense okay and choose what not next there you go now from here you're going to choose what your public and they say use this public interface to connect so we use, we choose the one. That means that's the point the point that is supposed to go into the internet. Okay, we choose the one. Then next. Okay, then it says choose what the other interfaces that are going to be your private. So I'm going to choose this side for now. Okay, this side for now. But I'm going to add the other interfaces later. Okay. Then finish. Okay, perfect. As you can see now, it turns from red to what? Green. That means the configuration is good. Now we can expand that. And now, as we expand it, if we can go to IPv4. This is our interest. Okay. Do you see NAT? Right? Click on NAT. And you see the interfaces that are there right now. Okay. So what you can do is you can right click on that and then what new interface then you click on what laxper and choose what is a private okay again right click new interface tiburon and then what make sure that private is checked okay and then okay so this is how you convert your what your server to act as what your firewall okay a whole server that the only rule that it's running that we want you to perform is what routing and remote access but when you are going to install the rule the rule is called what remote access okay so we have successfully converted what our um router sorry our server to be what to perform the functions of a router easy as that okay you just need to add four network adapters to it then call one your nuts actually 
just minimum two okay it depends on how many sites you have so minimum is two two so one is for one and one is for what your land whatever you can call the land you can name it whatever you want okay so um so now you can test it out uh, you can go back and then maybe for example let's say um if you have uh, you want the server one to connect to what let's say base side right I right click on this make sure that um settings make sure that this one is connected to what base side and it's actually connected to base side so that means it's good so the only thing we can do now to test it is to go inside it and perform some configurations let me see all right so you see it's going to be a whole long process i might have to what go ahead first do this initial setup i'll do this later accept and then i'll put my password So let's see it's actually fast so you guys will be lucky to see how it works so first I'm, I will have to assign an IP address to it okay how to assign an IP address to it so go here Ethernet chain network adapt options right click on this properties and actually i'd like to rename this one to LAN. Okay. right click on it properties then assign an ip address to it in this case you have to give it an address within the what that the 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 base side what address range in our case is 10.50.1.1 so i'm going to give this 1.1.1 .1 .1. uh, so. so the default gateway here on this server is going to be the base side what ip address uh yes the base side IP address on the router on the server that is acting as your router. So this is what we're doing. So here we minimize it. So on the base side on this server that we serve as a router. So let me go in here. Should make it bigger. So right here. So then here base side. Right click on base side, and then what? Let's check status okay so you see that this side is giving 254 this is the address that you're going to give as a gateway so so on route server one it's already open so server one okay so server one you're going to assign what so you're going to give base sites this address you're going to give this address over here so it's going to be 10.50.1.254 then your dns for now we're using 10.54.7.1 okay and then that should be it so let me close out of that server and make this one server one bigger okay okay and now we have network okay so now our configuration is complete so this is hyper-v okay so as you can see we have these and then everything is managed here but then you're using this one as your firewall for this particular service and this is it for now and I'll see you in the next video.